Hey you guys, welcome back to the channel Physics Sergi and we are in Physics Sergi Originals and this question was a follow up to the video of AITS Select 13 in which I have presented three problems on elliptical orbits of gravitation chapter. So this is uh, familiar to those students who have been already uh, part of that particular video. In case you are new, right, and this would be a question based on elliptical orbits okay so let me give you the formal wording of that question so here it is it's a passage or a comprehension followed by two questions assumes earth to be a uniform solid sphere of mass m and radius r and neglect its rotation what is the minimum speed of projectile to be launched from the surface of earth in its equatorial plane so that the particle hits the north pole so from equator you're supposed to throw right uh, in such a way that it hits the North Pole and among all those throws that are possible, what is the minimum speed he's requesting you to find out. And in the above problem, that is when the condition of minimum speed is achieved, what is the eccentricity of the elliptical path followed by the projectile? So these are the two questions in case you are new and you want to have a try, just pause the video, try it out for eight to 10 minutes and then come back for the explanation of the solution okay so and the solution involves a certain concept that i have taken up in the aits select 13 video the link of which is in the description below so in case you want to have a look at that please do go through and then come back to this question okay so i'm going ahead with the solution uh, first with the concept required in that aats select 13 video right uh, i have discussed the formula for angular momentum in elliptical orbit and also the mechanical energy in the elliptical orbit, which we'll be using in this particular problem. So the second one, as you could see, mechanical energy in the elliptical orbit is independent of the eccentricity of the elliptical orbit for a given value of the major axis. Okay, so minus GMM by 2A, a pretty neat expression that you need to remember in order to be acing through this problems okay so we'll be using that angular momentum is not yet used in this particular problem we'll be trying to uh, get a problem on that also in the future okay so uh, you want to have a look at those questions so please do go through the link in the description below so now a uh, lot of things on the screen so just concentrate on what i am going to explain so i have shown the depiction of the general possible case on the left side so concentrate on the left side diagram. If you were to throw uh, the particle from the equator here and it reaches, let's say the North Pole, then uh, focus of that elliptical orbit that it will uh, go through should be the center of Earth. This is something which is familiar from Kepler's first law, right? Uh, focus should be the center of Earth. The second focus could be somewhere on the line that is joining the focus to the maximum height point. Okay, so wherever that maximum height occurs, we just join the line. The second focus should be on that particular line. And uh, we know that if I alter the speed, this curved path will alter, but what doesn't alter is the position of the first focus, okay? And the uh, position of the second focus might actually change because the path of the ellipse will change its eccentricity. So keeping this general thing in mind, uh, we realize certain series of analysis after which we'll go to the minimum case, okay? so. We want the V to be minimum, right? Speed should be minimum. And in every case, you start from the same point, right? Whether you throw it with V higher or V lower, the position of the throw is the same, which means the distance of that point from the center of Earth is the same, okay? So the value of uh, distance R decides the potential energy of your throw initially, right? So KE minimum, right? V minimum means KE minimum. You can add P, which is fixed to every throw, and say that it is equivalent to having the mechanical energies minimum. Okay, right, so actually want Ke to be minimum, but because we have a formula for Me, I would like to minimize that because adding a equivalent, e equal Ke in every throw is not going to affect my minimum condition. And that's what I wrote here. Me should be minimum as P is fixed in all cases. So what's the formula for Me that we saw in the previous page? Minus GMM by 2A. So if Me has to be minimum, this denominator has to be minimum because there is a minus sign here, don't forget that. So you have to throw it in such a way that among all the ellipses that you can get for different values of speeds, that you have to choose the ellipse whose semi-major axis or simply major axis, you could say 2A should be minimum, okay, right. 
now come to this particular position the value of 2a is nothing but the distance between you know the locus or uh, locus of the particle or point on the ellipse right 2a should be equal to f1 n plus n f2 right so at any point on the ellipse should follow the sum of the distances from the foci should be a constant value and n is one of them north pole is also one of them right so this should be fixed right and is equal to 2a the thing is since f1 n is fixed in all the cases right whether you have a bigger ellipse or a smaller ellipse the final position is reaching the north pole so in this ex expression the value of f1 n is fixed so for 2a to be minimum with f1 n fixed you want nf2 to be, to be minimum okay now visualize how nf2 can be minimum right so if you were to have different ellipses i said f2 should be a moving point right f2 could be anywhere on this line just try to think in your mind as i keep moving on this particular position for different ellipses where should i place that f2 so that nf2 is minimum i think you will all recognize that if among all the lines that i draw from n to this red line nf2 would be least if it is the foot of the perpendicular or it should be a perpendicular drawn to this line so that gives us a minimum case just follow my lead to the minimum case is the condition where f2 is drawn in such a way that nf2 is perpendicular to f1 f2 okay so that's what i wrote here for different cases f1 and n are fixed right these two positions you can't change so f2 is a moving point and for nf2 to be minimum nf2 should be perpendicular to f1 f2 this solves our problem straight flat out without any uh, calculus involved okay right so this plus this should be your 2a that is in your in your mind and since this is 90 degrees and this is a right angle triangle and you know this this particular line and this line are already at 90 degrees to each other so this value should be 45 degrees so i have a isosceles right triangle here which i'll borrow into the next page for my calculations so i have borrowed that minimum condition right this is capital r this is r by root 2 and therefore this also should be r by root 2 uh, what is the value of 2a 2a is this plus this distance so i have written that r plus r by root 2 i got the value of 2a so mechanical energy in that that minimum condition would be minus gmm by 2a which also should be ke plus pe right ke is related to half mv minimum square that you have to throw p is always minus gmm by r because you are throwing it at a distance r from the center of earth so i have substituted the value of 2a as r plus r by root 2 here so rearranging you will nicely get the value of minimum speed equal to this particular expression not only that f1 f2 is also equal to r by root 2 and remember what is the distance between two foci in an ellipse it is 2 ae right it's a simple relation right 2 ae because if you have a center here on this side it would be ae and on this side also it should be ae from the center so 2 ae and since 2a is already known e therefore should be this r by root 2 divided by the 2a e also comes out to be a neat value of root 2 minus 1 so this is the idea so let's go back and mark the options in the particular question so i think answer should be c and a okay right i hope you like the way we done the question by avoiding calculus and differentiation right uh, using simple geometry of elliptical orbits okay you we, we both use the physics of kepler laws and the maths or locus of the points on an ellipse okay so in case you want to check out for more original problems so please make sure you go through the playlist in the link in the description below and also the other series you can please keep going ahead with uh, is the pathfinder solution series olympiad workout series and the result series all the links of the playlists are in the description below so please do go through them uh, so that you can have a lot of knowledge each and every video you will definitely gain something out of it and, and in case you do so please do like share and subscribe to my channel and right see you in the next video